Welcome to my channel Electrical Hub. Today we are going to learn a new topic that is simple series magnetic circuit. Okay, so let us start with this topic. So you can see this diagram on the screen. This is the diagram of a simple series magnetic circuit. You can three you can see there are three parts that is A, B, and C. These A, B, and C are having different magnetic materials of different cross sectional areas a1 a2 a3 of abc respectively and having different length l1 l2 l3 respectively so we can say a simple series magnetic circuit is that circuit in which in which they are having different magnetic material of different length and different cross sectional areas and different permeabilities but the flux flowing through the circuit is same means this flux flowing through the overall circuit is same in that type of circuit we say it is a simple series magnetic circuit okay so we can say different magnetic material having different cross sectional areas and different in length but but the magnetic flux flowing through the overall circuit is same that circuit is known as simple series magnetic circuit okay so we know that reluctance s is given by l upon mu 0 mu r a okay so over here there are three parts that is a b and c so for three different parts there will be three reluctance so i will write down these reluctance s1 is given by l1 upon mu 0 mu r1 a1 similarly s2 is equal to l2 upon mu 0 mu r2 a2 Similarly, S3 is given by L3 upon mu0, mu r3, a3. Okay, where S1, S2, S3 are the reluctance of part A, B and C respectively. Similarly, mu r1, mu r2, mu r3 are the relative permeabilities of part A, part B and part C. Okay. So, this permeability is nothing but the medium in which we kept the uh, magnetic material okay and in permeability there are three types first one is absolute permeability then second one is permeability of free space and the third one is relative permeability okay so the basic formula for permeability is equal to mu is equal to b by h okay so now we know that mmf is given by capital f so for three parts we can write mmf is equal to f1 plus f2 plus f3 okay we know the basic formula that is the relation between flux mmf and reluctance which is flux is equal to mmf upon reluctance okay so this will be f phi is equal to f upon s so therefore we can say f is equal to phi into s so we know that S is what? S1 plus S2 plus S3. Okay. So we can write F is equal to phi into S1 plus S2 plus S3. Correct. So phi into we know S1 is what? L1 upon mu0 mu r1 a1. Similarly S2 is what? L2 upon mu0 mu r2 a2. Similarly S3 is what? L3 upon mu0 mu r3 a3 okay now we know uh, there is one formula for flux density that is b is equal to phi by a so if we multiply this phi in the inner equation we will get phi l1 mu0 mu r1 a1 plus phi l2 mu0 mu r2 a2 plus phi l3 mu0 mu r3 a3 okay so therefore the relation will be now b1 l1 upon mu0 mu r1 similarly b2 l2 upon mu0 mu r3 similarly b3 l3 upon mu0 mu r3 okay this is mu r3 okay hence we have substituted the flux density in this equation so the final equation is b1 l1 upon mu0 mu r1 plus b2 l2 upon mu0 mu r3 
Okay, this equation I will write down over here. What is the equation? Okay. B1 L1 upon mu0 mu r 1 plus B2 L2 upon mu0 mu r 3 2 sorry plus B3 L3 upon mu0 mu r 3. Now I have told you the formula for basic permeability is mu is equal to B by H. Okay. So we can say H is equal to B by mu. And there is one more formula for mu that is B upon mu0 mu r. So basic formula for mu is mu0 mu r. So if we substitute the value of H over in this equation we will get H1 L1 plus H2 L2 plus H3 L3. Okay. So this H is what? H is magnetic field strength. This I have explained in previous video in which I have explained the uh, important terms and definition of MMF then magnetic flux density, then magnetic field strength. So please refer that video so you can understand these basic formulas. Okay. So the formula becomes F means MMF. Total MMF is equal to H1 L1 plus H2 L2 plus H3 L3. Okay. So total MMF is the H1 L1 plus H2 L2 plus H3 L3 where H1 H2, H3 are the magnetic field strength, magnetic field strength of part A, B and C and L1, L2, L3 you know these are the lengths of part A, B and C. Okay, so this was all for today's video and this is the final equation for simple series magnetic circuit. If you understand this video, if you like my video, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you guys for watching my video.